au nuno kwenda kusimira mama kusimira mama mnonga iki mbazo kuchiga umuzungu some people confuse life with with facilitations for life they don't know what is life and what are the facilitations for life you talk of education i am educated you talk of wealth i am rich you talk of uh, profession, professional development but all of those are facilitations for life life itself is family family which means wife means children means grandchildren that's life so some people confuse they confuse facilitations for with life and that's why they get lost like like those europeans of yours who have got lost eh? profession profession it in it in family ni yinchi eh so therefore i want to thank mama jenny because she akantambero irungu kurevi antambiru bantu ya tambiru irungu murmanya ah bitaba nostu na bakungwa akantambiru irungu ya antambero obwejana obwejana numbumanya aha toko no muntu kwampa ile mikono abantu aba ya toko no mama kwa ampere mikono nanya nka jimuhereza so i thank everybody mwe bere kwija kutahembage yi mwe bere kwija gongeje bikendetsire no kuba kwatandisa nabana nabana bayitu ngumanyana nabo aboko aboko futa afurikire konga kandi nuko nuko ngera kubahiga ngumbinjo boro umucyange iki kandi mbinjo no butamanya ladies and gentlemen I had to speak in the local language because of our people here. English may not be well understood. But I I I started by thanking God first for life. And life meant saving us, mom and myself who were born here, we are indigenous of this area, saving us from disease and i enumerated the diseases those of especially at that time when we did not have vaccinations measles chickenpox smallpox what have you all those uh, polio and i told them how my sister dr violet kajubiri she became uh, an academician she's a highly qualified academician uh, but she got polio in 1955 and, and she has been uh, limping all this time so god protect, protected us from uh, diseases from snakes because we were walking in the bush and i would step on the snakes uh, protected us through wars because we had to go through wars as one of the speakers was saying from accidents so we, we thank god for that for life number one number two we thank god for the connections he created for us first of all we had our area here the ankore area then we have uganda which creates more opportunities for us then we have got africa that's why for instance the help we got to to rescue our country part of it came from uh, president nyerere of tanzania who helped us he was not a ugandan he was not from this area but he helped us 
Samara Masher of Mozambique, he helped us. Muammar Gaddafi of Libya, he helped us. He was not from here, but he helped us. And then finally, even beyond Sweden, my family were able to go to, to Sweden and stay there uh, when they could not stay in, 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 in Africa. So we thanked God for that, what I was calling the concentric circles of, of connections. Then we, I thanked God for the, 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 the marriage, the, the, the marriage with Mama, 1973. And then the children who have come out of that marriage and the grandchildren. So I was saying that this, uh, this Thanksgiving could have been, because we shifted from here in 1960, shifted to another place. That's where our, 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 our main homes are. But I, I brought the function here because the, the, other guy, the other lady, the one I called here, was my core cow, cow, cow girl. She was a cow girl, I was a cow boy. We were grazing cows together. So when I came here some time ago, we were having a function on the other side. Then she asked me, Beto Mijiravana, do you have children? Uh -huh. Now, so, so I said, I promised myself, I said, no, I must bring these children when Kente is still around. And, and I, I fulfilled that. Uh, so therefore, then I ended by, I, I told them that, you know, this area is a very rich area with a very strong culture. When we were, when we were growing here, we had cows, we had crops, we had skills. We had all sorts of things. We had every fishing, some sort of fishing. But all of it was for home consumption. It was not commercial. So when, when, when some of us went away to 1959, when, when I went to another school in, 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 in Mbarara, we started seeing the wider world where people were, were producing for food, home consumption, but also for money. Then I remember that our area were only producing for food. But by the time I became conscious and became active, I was already in the other place where I shifted to. And initially I did the work there to, 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 to change. Uh, because I'm glad there are other Africans here. You can go and check in your own countries. By 2013, here in Uganda, 2013, a few years ago, only 32% of the homesteads in Uganda were in the money economy. 68% were producing for home consumption. And that's where the poverty is. So we said, no, you must, and they all have land. It's not like in Europe, you find people don't have land. But here families all have land. Uh -huh. But they don't use it, they only use it for home consumption. Uh, and so that's why when I came back here, I had now to struggle with that, that problem of uh, convincing these people. Now, I'm glad the bishop, one of the bishops here, she, she, she has embraced that, uh, that effort and she's producing coffee for the church. The, the, the movement is, is, is taking off. So that's what I was, I, I was I was telling them. Avantunga Momena Nyandangu Mumpur Rimur Nyankore, Elizoba, Echkuru Riare, Echatureta Hatuena, Noxi Marhang. Noxi Marhanga, Ahabokuba at Veri Romesugua. When it turbai, Kurevangur Hanga to Ravizum Bonacu Gumere, Emrund Minjas in Tionach Kantibasak to Baho, 
kuhonko no guarhanga ugwe mbabazi ukaturi inda guaturabiyumbu na kubo guatukoze seme rumayi tutakubazi ze kora nkabantu kuhonkaranga ugu unu kugamba nichochi intuwe chikuru eshi tuje mesele ize kureba ngu tuwa jirizo veri tuwa za haka nisa nabaru kutukunda bo nabaru kubasa kubaho batu kwa asa kutusimi la horu hanga mbwenu nicho chukurecha atuleteri zoba kukane imu njine kubasima kano kukuma hura abantu nubagamba abantu venja bandu wakaye nzire kubaba baba nubabasa kubaha kukane tichiru kubasika mbwenu na imu njine nda kubasima ukura na mje mesele zubwa kuja kutukwata kutusimi la horu hanga no kusima bantu ahabwebiru hanga atukoreire mkei hanga mka bantu kana nga family mwebare mwebare mnonga kubaha elizo mwena bantu nga mwechi indechi nkute kwa kubasimi la Nukundo yanyo yimu toreka, obutosha buwona. Haboku bakutu ijantunga mo, obutosha buwona. Nyoku mpika ntunga mo, kandu ni manyangu na mzei. Okuleba rukundo ya bantu, omnahanda, ahantona hitukuraba, omunta manyangu ya taha, mwariyo wago, abantu ni wamukunda. Mwebari, mchecho chiruku baje mesereza, kuhija kutukwata, Kutusimi la huru hanga, kandu nukutaho jenye wetu. Mwebari, obutosha buona, na imwe, ukutubela besugu. And only under seven months, in August, you cross the sea on an aircraft. You go to find a beautiful, dashing young lady that you saw when you were all in Chamate. And you don't have parties. You don't have best men. You don't have metrons. If they were there, it must have been by accident. You don't have anything. But you make a decision that this is a turning point, that I'm going to find someone I live with for the rest of my life. So looking back now, and I said when we come here, it's a classroom. For young people, we want to know, because I'm not young anymore, for those young people who are here, what was in the mind of these young people? What were their fears? What were their concerns? What is it they valued? What is it they took so important that they needed to stick together resiliently and make it through all these years? <laughs> 